Welcome back, uh, episode seven. And uh, if you haven't seen the uh, episodes one to six, then uh, yeah, go back and uh, have a look. It kind of gives some rationale in the early episodes um, exactly what I'd like to do, what I'm trying to achieve. But yeah, I'm starting to catch up a little bit now on the uh, the videos. And today, really looking to uh, finish the modifications to the frame. So I've got uh, some lugs to, uh, been waiting for so many bits and pieces, really frustrating. But welding on lugs onto the frame for the side panels and also a lug on the frame at the front for the um, engine cowling bolts to uh, hold those on. Also tapping um, some uh, holes in the frame for the bracket which holds on and supports the airbox. So it takes an awful long time to do all these bits and pieces. Uh, so I won't bore you with all the detail, but um, certainly you can see me uh, doing some of the stuff. Let's get on. Right, <clears throat> just gonna weld some lugs on, just uh, filed them up. Still waiting for the taps, but this one's pre-tapped and uh, just gonna work, tack weld these on. So this is the original lug that was welded on that held the side panel on and I'm putting two new ones on, one here and one there. So I've got to file them down at an angle and then uh, drill and tap them to take the new side panels, which will just be probably in steel because uh, I think aluminium's a bit too uh, flexible and will mark too easily. So what's um, what's really surprising is I've cut this at quite a cut and filed it at quite a uh, odd angle to weld onto the strengthening bracket that's like a V bracket, and uh, you'd think it would be the same on the other side, <laughs> but it's a lot less acute on the other side. So um, yeah, quite strange. That was quite surprised, but. Uh, yeah, the frame isn't absolutely symmetrical. It, when I was doing the airbox, it always seemed a little bit kicked off to one side. The seat wasn't central. Um, and the frame is actually, it's not, not by much, but enough to make a difference on angle or the brackets, the way that they're welded, it's not symmetrical. So uh, I'll have to cut the other, the other bracket uh, different. Hey ho. What I'm doing now, um, I've just filled in with weld a uh, welded in a couple of holes that uh, I drilled for the seat lock, which were then subsequently proved to be in the wrong place. And I'm also going to, at the moment, it's bolted through from the underneath, so I'm just going to tack weld it on the underside 
Then I'm going to take the nuts off, weld it from the top, and then grind it off from the bottom, maybe just touch it up with a weld. The reason is I want these as uh, effectively as welding studs because um, I don't want any nuts and bolts coming through from the bottom, so that will just be the seat lock we bolted onto the studs which are welded in and nice and smooth on the bottom. So there we have it. That's where I filled in the uh, the two holes here at the uh, the back, with uh, welded it both sides, and also welded the uh, the bolts in and then ground down. And from the top, just got two studs to support the seat lock. I think anything else, I've got to put the uh, the fuse and uh, some connections here. That will go in the space of the seat, uh, and I'll just. Um, tack weld those with a couple of little brackets as necessary but from the underside once that's been uh, rubbed down and painted well it's sort of nice and smooth no visible bolts good finally they came the uh, m5 taps so as i said um, i've already drilled cut and filed to the appropriate shape uh, the lugs for the new side panels so I've just got to drill tap weld grind sand paint let's get on with it tapped all the way through um, because uh, it's much easier to tap that way really nice new thread um, for anyone an engineer it's stating the, stating the bleeding obvious but uh, if you're not just a, a quick explanation um, <clears throat> I had a set of taps but when you're cutting new threads straight from a new drilled hole you need three three they come in a set of three the first one's very, very tapered and just eases the first cut. Second one, a little bit more, uh, or a little less tapered and a little deeper cut. And the third one, giving you the perfect parallel all the way along. Um, you, you can, I, think, I guess, in theory, do it with a, a straight tap, but it's almost impossible. And uh, you'll end up going at a crooked angle and uh, screwing up the first part of the thread. So it's always better to get a set of three, but they don't seem widely available, which is amazing. And I don't have any decent tool stations near me. So that's how we go. They're all ready to weld on. Let's get on with that then. nearly Christmas it's bloody cold and wet and I've managed to uh, do all of the uh, Christmas preparations so I managed to get a sneaky day in the garage so today uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, these were the studs here that were fixed out they were about uh, probably 50 mil 
maybe even 60, 70 mil. So I've chopped those off and uh, that's one of the fixing points for the uh, the front um, sort of, I don't know what you call it, skirt, um, whatever, cowling. So really what I need to do now is just weld on a nice, a nice nut like that, just so that I can uh, put a nice M5 uh, bolt in there, Allen bolt in there, the same as the, uh, the other points, uh, which are here, 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 and there. Unfortunately, I don't have a, um, a nice A5 nut, and I can't wait six weeks for eBay to deliver one. So uh, I'm just going to fabricate a couple and then weld those on, uh, just so that, because uh, they'll, they'll be hidden anyway, and I'll just tack weld those on. Right, let's get cracking. Right, done the uh, the last bit of spot welding on the frame. Um, still waiting for Royal Mail to deliver uh, a mini belt sander, just to clean up the welds, a little thin one. Uh, come on, Royal Mail. Aha, good old Royal Mail came through in the end. Right, so, my new mini belt sander. Nice bit of kit just come in very handy for cleaning up these welds uh, in fact all the welds prior to um, a bit of rubbing down and sanding and painting the frame which is good so um, I'll crack on So good progress today. Um, all the welding done now on the uh, subframe at the back and also the frame to support the uh, engine cowlings. Lots of uh, tapping, welding, filing. The uh, the best bit of kit I think is the, um, the, the mini belt sander. That's taken a lot of effort out of filing. It just takes forever. And also has really tidied up those welds so hopefully they'll look good after painting. If you haven't, um, subscribed already yeah please do if you want to leave any comments do i talk too much uh, is there too much uh, high speed uh, filming um if you don't like the music you know <laughs> let me know always happy to uh, reply and uh, and accept all feedback in uh, in good spirit till next time